Hey guys, it's Brittany here from Pick Up Bags for Dental again. Had a lot of questions in regards to last week's video from the in-chair whitening about the take-home trays that I was discussing. Basically, the take-home trays are an alternative option or you can do it alongside with the in-chair whitening. Um, I have take-home trays already, but I really wanted to show you guys the process of getting them done. So but my friend Jess in the other room hasn't got take-home trays yet, so she's going to show us the first step to getting them done, I guess. So basically, I'm going to have Dr. Chris Bott and Jess show us exactly what to do. So I'll take you over to the next room right now. Hey guys! So this is Jess. Emma's going to help us mix the impression material and Chris is going to take the impression. So I'll show you the process right now. Now Chris is getting the alginate impression material out and putting it in one of our impression trays. This then goes into Jess's mouth. So it does take a little bit to set, so I will fast forward through, through this process, but essentially it just gives an accurate mold of your teeth so the trays fit really nice and snug in there. So it looks like the impression material's harder now. So Dr. Chris Bott will take that mold out when he feels it's ready. Excellent. Beautiful. So that's Jess's teeth in there. Mmm, nice. <laughs> so Dr. Chris just took an impression of Jess's upper teeth. When we do the impressions for the whitening trays, we need to take an upper and a lower impression, um, if obviously, because you want to have white teeth all over. Um, so I'm going to go into the next room now and show you the whole whitening process with my whitening trays that I have already. So for the lab to make those impressions into the actual whitening tray, it takes about one to two weeks. I obviously got mine quite a while back, so mine are ready to go. Jess's will take about one to two weeks, so then you can pick them up with the whole kit. But basically, this is what they look like once they are finished. You can't really see it because they're clear. But it is just essentially my teeth, but in a clear formation. And they sit in without the whitening gel. I'll just show you. Yeah. Cool. So, I'll show you my nighttime routine and pretty much essentially how I do my whitening at home. Awesome, let's go. So, so for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna show you my whole nighttime routine and what I do before I whiten my teeth. Um, so essentially before you whiten your teeth, you have to do all your brushing, flossing, and all that kind of extra nitty gritty things before you do the whitening. Um, that way you, you haven't got any icky stuff in your teeth I guess so I'm gonna just do all that right now before I do the whitening so bear with me two moments I will fast forward through this process because it's not gonna be the most attractive thing you've ever seen I'm all finished with my brushing and now I'm going to go on to my cleaning in between the teeth. So I personally use pigsters. You can use whatever you like. I'm size two, so I will do that now. So now that I've finished brushing my teeth and cleaning in between the teeth with the pigsters, I'm now going to move on to the special main event, which is the whitening. So when you get your whitening kit, it comes with the take home trays, some tooth mousse, which you'll also get at the moment, but you also get a kit that looks similar to this. Now it's the Polyday Whitening Gel, 9.5% hydrogen peroxide gel. So it is relatively strong, um, which is the reason why we give you these trays so they can sit nicely and can avoid burning any 
areas that don't need to be put bleach on so as you can see there is a little bit of a tighter space between the tooth and the gum because putting any of this gel on your gums can cause irritation and burns which we obviously don't want so you have to be have very to be very careful when putting the whitening, whitening gel onto your trace so i'll show you how to do that now inside the whitening kit as well the polar day whitening gel it comes with instructions for use as well and alongside that, it also comes with a really nifty chart so you can see your teeth color and you can kind of... So I'm going to start by getting the hydrogen peroxide gel. So they look, they come in a syringe similar to this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but on the side there is little kind of lines. It's a really good system to see how much whitening gel you need because you really don't need much at all. A little goes a long way. It also comes with these little tips. So those tips you put on top of the syringe and then it should look something like this. So I'm gonna start off by filling up my top tray and then I'll go to my bottom tray, pop them in. Bob's your uncle. Right. So the way you pop them in is it needs to be facing kind of the front of the tooth and it's only a little bit you need so if i put it in like this oh you can't see because my fingers are in the way right so a little bit's just gone there and a little bit too much so i'm just gonna scrape it and it's just little little dots that you need so i'm gonna fast forward through this because this is gonna be <laughs> so that's my top tray done all the whitening gel is in there and as you can see, it's only like tiny bits. You can't even see it because it's like clear. But um, you sit them on the like the front surface and it's a tiny dot because obviously we don't want it to go up near your gums. So I'll pop this in now and you can see. Perfect. I'm going to do the same for the bottom now. Perfect. Right, as you can see, excuse if I'm lisping. Um, there's only I only use a little a little bit. Because a little goes a long way. I'm gonna sit this on my teeth for 30 minutes. <laughs> I should have said this before I put this in. I'm gonna sit this on my teeth for 30 minutes. After that, I'm going to show you exactly what to do afterwards. Great, so it's been about 30 minutes since I put the whitening trays in, so I'm going to carefully remove them and go through the process of what you do once they're out. So. Mm. so now that they're out, they've still got um, some whitening gel residue left over, as well as what is on my teeth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab a normal toothbrush with no toothpaste or anything. Grab a little bit of lukewarm water and we're just gonna brush off the excess. So I'll do that now. So my teeth now feel free of any excess whitening gel. What I'm gonna do now with my whitening trays is I'm gonna grab the same toothbrush, and this time I'm just gonna clean off the trays of any excess. Great. So they are looking clean. They are still a little bit wet, but they're looking clean and they're free of all the residue. I'm gonna put them back in my personalized pickup bag for dental case. And that's pretty much it. So after you've finished whitening your teeth, like I said, you can use that chart again to see where you're at. Um, so if you do it for two weeks, 30 minutes at a time at night time after you've done your brushing, flossing, pick string, have you what? Um, yeah, then you can get to your required result. Um, another important thing, which I forgot to mention as well, these tips on the top of the syringes which 
I showed you before. The caps that were on the top can go back on them. And these tips are actually reusable for um, the next time. It comes with a pack of four of these tips, but um, you only get one per syringe. So you get about three, four uses out of one syringe. So you need to use this four times. So the way to clean it out, you essentially just get some lukewarm water again. Cool, that's looking clean of any excess residue. Beautiful. So after whitening, what a lot of people tend to do, um, because whitening can um, sometimes cause sensitivity, um, I've got some tooth mousse here. Flavour vanilla. Amazing. My favourite. So basically, it's just like a, a milky cream um, that helps with tooth sensitivity. So what I want to do is I'm just going to grab a dollop and I'm just going to pop this essentially all around my teeth and mouth and make sure I'm getting all the spots that could potentially be sensitive. So bear with me. Voila. What some people can do, and I have done this before as well, is um, you can actually get the tooth mousse and once your trays are cleaned, you can actually put some tooth mousse in the trays and pop them in and sleep with them in if you like or leave them in for a couple hours or so. That's to reduce sensitivity as well. That's really good. There's also, because there's just so much. <laughs> so there's also a, another kit that we have, um, which is made by the same company, but instead of it being a whitening gel, it's actually a soothing gel. So this helps with sensitivity if if you're prone to sensitivity, but you still want to get your teeth whitened, there are a lot of alternatives um, and ways that we can help you to get your required result, but helping you not get that too sensitivity as well. Yeah, basically that is it. I know there's a lot of information, <laughs> um, but yeah, if you wanted to book an appointment, give us a call on 63314855, or alternatively, you can book online at www.pickupbagsyourdental.com.au. If you have any more questions, you can comment below. Have a look at last week's video for the in-chair whitening. Um, look forward to seeing you next time.